hey baddies welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new for those that are new to my channel i'm happy to see you have come across my channel i post new videos every week and they all revolve around compilations of hair nails outfits makeup and much more beauty related content i love uploading beauty content that inspires people and helps them upkeep the baddie lifestyle so if you're interested in seeing more be sure to hit that subscribe button and hopefully i see more of you In today's video, I will be giving you guys a story time about a crazy client I recently had. Well, it's not really recent, but a client that I recently had, we're just going to say recently, nail tech edition. So, I recently had a client who was 15, 16, I don't know her exact age, but we're just going to say 15. So, I had a client who was 15 years old who decided to book with me for the first time. Now, I require all my clients to pay a deposit fee of $10, which also goes to your total price of the nails. So, that way you aren't really paying extra since it's going to the price of your nails. And I make that very clear to all my clients. However, I do explain to all my clients that the deposit fee is necessary because some people like to do something called a no-call no-show, meaning on the day of their appointment, they like to not tell me they're coming in and they just don't show up, which is why I have the deposit fee required for all my clients. And everything that I'm telling you guys now is literally on my Instagram page under my highlights. So anyway, she books with me, but she doesn't pay her deposit fee, which is supposed to be done within an hour you make your appointment. Any appointment a client makes on my booking site is automatically sent to my phone, so I see it. Now, I don't see everyone, but I do see the majority. Now, I've never had a client make an appointment and not pay a deposit fee, so this girl, we're just going to call her Knight, because I don't want to, like, say her name or anything. So Knight decides to text my number the day of her appointment, and she's like, I'm outside, where are you located? Mind you, this is at 8 o'clock in the morning. Her appointment wasn't scheduled until 10 o'clock at this time. So at this time, I'm still asleep. So Knight decides to just blow up my phone. She's like, hello, where are you located? With like six question marks at the end of her message. And you know, when you type in those question marks, you basically screaming at the person through the phone. So she's like, hello, where are you located? Like extending her words, putting extra exclamation marks question marks basically screaming at me through the phone that's what i consider it as i consider it as being rude screaming at me through the phone so i'm just like in my head like first of all hello how are you like what happened to that she's just being so rude and nasty thinking she's writing the whole time since is in the room so i finally wake up because my phone is just blowing up blowing up and i usually set my phone on do not disturb so i don't understand how that night i forgot to but like that's besides the point so anyways i finally wake up and see night's messages and it's now like 8 30 8 45 i can't remember the exact time but if i do find these messages i'm gonna make sure to insert them in for y'all of course so i respond tonight and i'm like good morning how are you she's still like hello where are you located she just keeps asking me about my location not greeting me not being nice she's just being plain old rude so she was like hello where are you located i know you don't tell your customers your address until the day of so what is it just like that y'all she says it just like that like at this point i'm starting to think this is some type of joke because of how nasty she's being but she was that serious she wasn't playing at all so i text her and i say good morning night i see that's your schedule for 10 a.m today but you didn't pay me a deposit fee which is something i require all my clients to provide when getting their nails done and she's like, I'm not sending you a deposit fee. You're probably trying to scam me or something, yada, yada, yada. Can you just send me? So then she says, can you just send me your address because I'm already late. At this point, I'm so over this girl and her attitude, y'all. So I just set my phone aside because I was trying everything one night and everything was just going through one ear and out the other. So about 30 minutes later, she starts to blow up my phone again. She's calling my phone. I had about like maybe 15 to 20 missed calls from her not even dragging it y'all she tried calling me from a no caller id but i knew it was her because the calls were back to back so she's texting me from my instagram like any form of contact y'all could think of she was literally trying to contact me through there so i think like three to five hours i don't remember exactly but it was like sometime in the afternoon after i had finished one of my afternoon clients so i get a cash app notification and i see that it's from night because i seen her name so I check my phone and I see that she sent me a $10 deposit. So I notify her that I seen the money she sent and I finally give her the address and tell her to be here at a specific time. I think I told her to be here at like 4.30. I can't remember, but I think it was 4.30. I'm just going to say 4.30. 
because I had another client scheduled for 645. So I told her to come at 430. So the time of her appointment comes and night is nowhere to be found. Like she completely goes ghost, which is so crazy because she was just blowing up my phone, mad that she was so-called late for her appointment. So now when it's time for her to come to her appointment, she's ghost. Like she's nowhere to be found. I'm literally texting the girl. I'm calling her. She's not answering. So at this point, I'm getting frustrated because I do not like when people play with my money and my time. It's just, I don't like it. Like, So again, her appointment is at 4.30. She didn't get here until about 5.15. Sis was damn near an hour late to her appointment. So I hear a knock at my door, and as I look out the window, I see an additional two girls. Now, Knight didn't tell me about her bringing other people, so I was just confused. And on my booking site, I made it very clear that you're not allowed to bring extra guests unless you tell me beforehand. And normally, even though they tell me they bring an extra guest, I usually don't allow extra guests at all due to COVID. So, yeah. So, as I open the door, they come barging in with food in their hand. They don't even greet me. They just walk right in. They're dropping food all over my floor. They're just being nasty. So, I tell the girls that they're not allowed to eat food in my house but they completely ignore me like it's like they're not even listening to a thing I'm saying they just completely ignore me and they continue to eat and they continue to drop food all over my floor so I take them to my nail studio and I tell Knight that I don't allow extra guests in my home but you know since they're here I'm gonna allow them to stay because it was literally no point in me sending them back home when they were already here. So I was nice enough to let them stay because I easily could have said that they can't stay here because those are one of my rules on my booking site. So I easily could have said that they have to go, but I just let them stay anyways. So she ends up telling me, oh, they were going to stay regardless because I don't trust you. Anyway, so I just completely ignored that because I'm trying to be professional. Like, I'm really trying to keep it professional. The whole time she's being rude and nasty, and I'm trying to keep it professional. So before I store her nails, I tell her that she has to pay an additional $15 because she was late to the appointment. So she's like, okay, that's fine, you know, no problem. So I was like, okay. So she shows me a picture of how she wants her nails off of Pinterest. She asked for like an ex, like an extra long three-toned ombre set with like I think two pixie nails. I can't remember if they were like pixie nails or like Swarovski crystals. I don't remember. So I let her know beforehand that her nails was gonna be 115, which in my eyes is a reasonable price for the set that she asked for. So she's like, yeah, yeah, I know already. Can you just start my nails? Like, she's just rushing me to talk about, yeah, you know, I know. Can you just start my nails? Like, she didn't care about nothing else. She just wanted her nails did. So she's still having this nasty attitude for no reason at all. And as I begin drilling her nails, she keeps moving, going on her phone, just doing the absolute most. Like, and I keep asking her, like, can she stay still? Can she still stay still? And she keeps, like, moving. And as I began drilling her nails, I accidentally had cut her with the drill because like I said, sis kept on moving. She would not stop moving. So I ended up apologizing to her. She said it was okay. So I just kept going because she said it was fine. So I finally finished her set. And as I'm about to apply the cuticle oil, she's flipping her hand back and forth, looking at her nails with this like mean mug on her face. At this point, y'all, she's basically trying to find a problem with her nails. Like, I could tell sis just wasn't trying to pay. Like, if you're broke, just say that. Because she's looking at her nails back and forth with this, like, nasty look on her face as if she don't like the nails or if there's a problem. And I knew it wasn't a problem because her nails were fine. Like, the whole way throughout the process, I kept asking her, like, do you like your nails? Do you like what I'm doing? Do you want me to fix anything? And she was just ignoring me. Like, some stuff she would be like, yeah, that's fine. But then other times she would just ignore me. So I knew sis wasn't trying to play me, trying to look for a problem with her nails. So anyway, she does that. So after I finish applying the top coat and everything, y'all, she tells me, oh, I don't like this color. It's too dark. This isn't what I asked for. Mind y'all, I asked Knight before I began working on her nails if the pigments I had shown her beforehand were fine. And she said, yeah. So I tell her, you know, like I can't really do anything about the color because the top coat was already on for one. And two, I applied colored acrylic, which means I would have to basically start the entire set over, which is something I refuse to do because of 
one how rude she was being and I was on like a time schedule like I had another client at 6 45 like I had told y'all so I tell her I can't do anything about it basically and so after I apply the oil and I'm like yeah so after I apply the oil and I'm all done I tell her it's gonna be a hundred dollars I ended up taking off the late fee that I wanted her to pay since I had cut her in the process so I just decided to take off for $15 because I had accidentally cut her and I actually felt bad even though it wasn't even my fault because she kept on moving like I said so she's arguing back and forth with me y'all about the price to her nails asking me why her set is $100 when I already told her the price of her nails from the beginning like before she even sat down in my chair so I re-explained to her why her set is the price that it is and finally like after 10 minutes she finally decides to pay me but y'all guess what she does she pulls out $15 from her purse and hands it over to me and she's like oh I'm going to cash up you to 85 because she didn't bring any money with her first of all how do you come to a nail appointment with no money Mm, I don't get it I don't get it and on my site I made it very clear that I only accept cash so the fact that she tried to cash at me I don't like I don't know what was going on in her head so I tell her she's not allowed to walk out my house until I get paid so she ends up calling the cops and tells them that I was harassing her and that I was holding her hostage just making up a whole bunch of lies y'all I literally can't believe to this day that she told that she actually told those cops that I was harassing her and I tried to hold her hostage just because I said you can't leave my house until I get paid I don't know if I'm in the wrong for that but I know I'm definitely not in the wrong but when the cops came, I ended up explaining to them the whole situation and they asked me if I wanted a restraining order up against her. They ended up asking me if I wanted a restraining order up against the girls and I had ended up saying no because to me it wasn't that serious. Like I didn't need a restraining order. It's not like they tried to fight me, kill me or do any of that. So I was like, no, it's not that serious. And what's crazy is that same night they all went on live talking about how bad of a nail tech I was saying that I cut her multiple times with my drill when it was only once. They're just at this point, they're just dragging it on, dragging the situation on, making me out to be a bad person, which I feel like I'm not like I feel like I actually handled that situation really well. Like and she was also saying stuff like I didn't give her the set that she asked for. I gave her something completely different that the set I gave her was completely different from the picture that I showed her which first of all it's not going to be the exact same it's not going to be a duplicate but it was pretty similar y'all and I wish I still had the pictures but I had I just got a new phone so I'm gonna try to look for the pictures and insert them in like I said but yeah I decided not to entertain them and I just ignored them and now up to this day I never allow anyone to book with me unless they pay me a deposit fee beforehand no exceptions like y'all see when I give people exceptions what they do so I don't give anyone an exception like those girls just messed it up for everyone and yeah that's pretty much it if you guys want more story times like this one or more girl talks comment down below comment down below if y'all think I was in a wrong like I don't know some people be telling me like oh you was wrong for that other people be like no like I feel like you handled that situation well but tell me what you guys think of this story um thank you for watching baddies bye